Hello everybody and welcome to another demo for next fest. This one's Distant Bloom. It is uh, developed by Ember Trail and published by Kinda Brave. And it is all about a little alien that crash lands. And the world is not exactly how they expected it to be. And it's all about having to terraform it and make it better. So yet again, something trashed that we make good. Just a theme. It seems to be a theme with the farmer games. Anything where that happens, I like it. <laughs> I like making things tidier and making things neater and regrowing plants and all of those things. Okay, so start a new game. Please keep in mind this is a pre-alpha. Still pretty good, I think. Somewhere at the edge of the universe, a colourless planet covered by dark clouds. Its inhabitants are desperately scouring the skies in search of a new home. Large telescopes peer into space, piercing the veil of galaxies. Cold gas giant, lava planet, barren world. But maybe, there, tiny planet, coloured by pleasant greens and blues. Twelve brave altars and a small robot are sent on an exceptionally long journey. Their mission? To build a new home and save the future of the altar species. The landing didn't go so great. Sleeper, sleeper, wake up. I'm awake, I think. Asleep for five, four, seven, five hundred cycles. Stand up, awakener. So we've got Keiki, I think it's Keiki. And me. Oh, I gotta get up. Oh. oh, I gotta help. I gotta help. You're stuck. You're stuck. So, there are 12 of us and a robot. I'm guessing I found the robot. Now I've got to find the other 12. Hey there, bud. Don't be scared. Big thank on Trapper. What happened? Error. Memory data incomplete. Are together. Safe now. Yeah, but my cryopod's completely broken. And where's the hearth ship? Detached. My pod detached from the hearth ship? Did it separate during landing? Yes, yes, detached, crashed, trapped, cakey. I am making up pronunciations as I go along. Please, if the devs are watching or anything and I'm doing them wrong, let me know, okay? Just making it up for now. Okay, are you okay? Run diagnostics. 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 Untrapper nearby. Keiki, protect. Yes, I'm here. Don't worry. Can you locate the hearth ship? Triangulation. Outside radius. Then we'll have to search for it. The Elder and the others might be in danger. Let's get away before this thing goes boom. So we need to go on a long old run. Oh, let's get that. New resource. Raspberry. <laughs> I like that. Raspberry. Guess we go up here then. Can we go along here? Mm, yes! Haha! -ha. There was another raspberry. Okay, um. We go up here. Lake? Looks a bit of a gross lake though. I wonder if I can talk to you. Keep going, Pathfinder! Okay. Like when characters come up with a prompt like that I always try and give them a chat just in case they ha that means they've got extra to say those look like they're just lighting my way rather than particularly be hey there's raspberry up there I can't get it though 
What's that sound? Scanner! Accessing mission guidebook, all elder assistants are provided with standard issue equipment. It includes one backpack, one scanner, one tool belt, and a large portion of positive attitude. So you've got a backpack and a tool belt. I guess we'll find out how to use those later, but the scanner, I think it's going to teach us now. Alright, sorry, I'm still shaken from the crash. So Q for my scanner. That's what the scanner picked up. Is it supposed to look like this? It matches a guidebook entry on herbs, but it's dead. Hmm. Onwards, plant scanner. This icon tells you a plant's growing state. Keep an eye on it. So I can scan things to see how they're doing. Nice. So that would be quite handy when I'm terraforming this planet. Aha! Secret beryl. Secret raspberry. Maybe I should scan the raspberries. I should give that a go. There's one up here, though. One down there, too. I don't know how I'm going to get to that one, though. Another shiny. Scan. It's not letting me scan when I press space. Oh, there we are. Raspberry. It's slightly gooey. Well, now we know that it is slightly gooey. Guess there's no going back now. What are these? What's this junk doing here? Pod crash? Too old and rusty, but how? This planet's supposed to be untouched. Pick. Ew, why would I pick up someone else's trash? Research. Trash researcher? Too niche. Being an assistant is better. But I can hand this over to our actual scientist if they're awake. I should scan the scrap metal. Let's scan this one. Metal that you found scattered around. It rhymes. I figure I should pick it up. It might be useful at some point. Uh, you might just be able to lift it. So by lifting it, I can move it, I think, out the way and go and get that rouse barrel. Lovely. That seems more like the way. That seems like a blocked off way, because I can't pick that up. Can I scan it? No. Okay. Let's keep going this way then. Discovered the cliff paths. Grab all this scrap metal while I can. I'm never going the other way, clearly. That's it for me now. This way, I guess. More dead plants. Did we land on the wrong planet? Accessing last registered coordinates. Mission destination reached. Well, why is everything dying? What about this plant? It looks different from the last one. Scan again! Yeah, it's a different species. Looks like a fern of some sort. I wonder what other types of plants are out there. This is so cute. Another cryopod. Whoever's inside is still sound asleep. Should we wake them up? Accessing mission guidebook. Follow safety regulations, only the mission leader may wake crew members from cryo sleep. I really hope the elder is safe, otherwise this altar will be in there for a long time. No more sleep. It is lonely. Don't worry, we'll come back for them. Okay, so I'm gonna just like, give this a scan. Tools will be needed to extract this large chunk of metal from the ground. I think that's what the other one up the, up the cliff was about as well. No, too big. Careful, rock hopper. Huh. Let's not fall off here. Phew, we made it. So I think these are other ones that are also like too big to get. Uh, but these herbs can be scanned. Elongated cloudy herb. Diminutive furled herb. Elongated Cloudy herb, twisted oval tree, and elongated cloudy herb again. 
Rock Hopper's Pod. Is that down there? Oh yeah, we can see the, that's the pod we came from, I guess. I think that's what they're trying to say. Lots of scrap metal. Looks like there's another ras barrel up there. Just gonna pick all of these up. Now I think this does have more than just like the exploration component to it. Um, okay, we need tools for that. Actually, I think that might be the way to the other. It might be another way to the place that we got blocked off from earlier. Beep beep. What is it? Path ship within radius. Ah, you're right. I can see it on my scanner now. It's gorgeous. This is your compass. It shows points of interest and the time of day. Oh, more raspberry there. I've discovered the fields. Oh, this looks like a ship down there. Yes, we found the hearth ship. <gasps> Is that a... Can we go down? Ah, oh, yes, we can go down the pole. I love it. There's a lot of things that seem to be one-way systems. Makes me a bit nervous sometimes. Elder, you're awake. Of course I am. A robot could not be in charge of landing the hearth ship. It's a delicate task, which I executed flawlessly. So you meant to detach the cryopods? Uh, detach? <clears throat> Naturally. Was there anything else? I saw another altar's pod. It seemed intact, but locked. Of course, I alone hold the security key to open them, which makes your presence here quite surprising. My pod was damaged. I woke up on the ground and found Keiki trapped by debris. Big oof. Oh, I'm... So, well, you're here now, and you can start assisting me, assistant. Should we wake up the other altar? It's all in good time. We need to set up a home base first. Uh, but they could be in danger. The pods are there to keep them safe. Yours was just unlucky. Enough about this now. Was there anything else? Uh... This place is not all we expected. Was there something wrong with our telescopes? This planet looked lush with life when we saw it from Ultra 2. The images might have been a little fuzzy, but we have been in cryosleep for a very long time. What happened during such a period? Only the plentiful knows. What did you see on your way here? I found this junk scattered around. You picked up trash from the ground? It's really strange. It looks like it's been here for a long time. Strange how, I've never heard of a planet without trash, have you? No? Speaking of which, I need you to move all this junk out of the way so we can start unpacking. Report back to me when you are done. New quest! Pick up the scrap metal around the hearth ship. Witness, trash picker. Ooh, I had no idea plants looked so pretty. Oh! Did we just make something a little bit better by picking that trash up? Let's see, let's see what happens. Yes! This reminds me of Grow Song of the Evertree. When you like make like terraform the ground around you. It's so nice. Uh, those are all too big. This one's small. Come on. That's so pretty! Love this game. So pretty. So it's the metals that are stopping the ground from being nice and pretty. Oh wow, because I did nearly all of them. It's completely changed the the ground. Let's try and see if I can get that last one over here. I think maybe I'll have to get the big one. So I think that's all I can clean for now. That was good though. Oh, is the whole thing gonna be distant blue? So 
So we made the whole area around the ship nice. Unusual activity. Where? Long route. Scan the route, okay. This bar shows how many plants you've healed in an area. Keep going. Oh, a bit of life is coming back into this route. Where lead? Inside the cave. Uh, can't really see. We'll need something to cross the ravine. Wish we had our builder here to help out. We'll just have to come up with something on our own. But that's for later. The elder is waiting for us now. Oh, it's so lush and beautiful around the ship now. I'm good cleaner. Goodness, is this place not a tattoo green? What did you do? I cleaned up the trash. I also found a strange root. Cleaned? Did you pick it off the ground again? Yes. You are a strange one. Elsewhere is soon forgotten, as the old saying goes. Now we should wake up Bahan, Bahan so they can set up the exonutri processor. I'm getting quite hungry. Is it them I saw in the pod on the way here? Could be. Ask the robot to lead you to them. Oh, I almost forgot here. Take the cryopod security key. Off you pop, both of you. Hey, I wonder what I, what he would have said about the route. Don't know. All right then. Hey bud, can you show me the way to the flavor chemist's cryopod? Triangulation, a flavor chemist. That's a, a cook, basically. Positron. Oh, positron. Position detected. Positron. Am I in Star Trek or something? Awoken appetites. Follow Kiki. I'm totally going to pick up all the scrap metal. The cliff paths. Doesn't look like I can um, turn the camera, which is sometimes a feature in some uh, games. It's, it reminds me a lot of Diablo. Could be wrong though, could be a way. Can't tell though. Okay, who's behind the door? Let's find out. Hi, it is the chef. Oof, my back. Wakey, wakey. Ah, oh, well, that's a face I wasn't expecting. Did we arrive? Yes, we're on Ultra 3 now. Thank goodness, I don't think my bones could have taken one more day in that pod. So so they've ruined like two planets already and they're looking to like ruin a third, are they? <laughs> and the others? Are they well? It's just us for now, but the Elder thinks the others are safe. And I was looking forward to seeing everyone again. I guess the Elder is waiting for us at the hearth ship. Let me take my things before we go. What in the name of Plentiful is this? What is this shovel doing in my pod? Did I sleep on this thing the entire journey? No wonder my back is killing me. Oh no! You had the groundbreaking idea of storing it in here. Go easy, here, I'll take this off your hands. Thank you, I don't want to see that thing ever again. Nice, I have a shovel now. I don't know how to use it. Tab to get into my backpack. Okay. How do, how I use shovel, please? Uh, I guess I go back to the hearth ship then. That shovel might have a use after all. Well, let's put away my scanner. And equip my shot. No, that's my scanner. Oh, I see. So I've got the shovel now. Right, okay. I'll pick that up. And clear that. Clear that. Lots of scrap metal. Yay! Um, don't remember where the elder is now, don't I? I think we had to go down these rocks. And through the cave. I can clear all these now, which is wonderful. This planet looks more like home than I thought. <laughs> it's because it's all messed up. You clearly messed up your home.
How far to the hearth ship? Not far. Cleaner picked up 25 pieces of trash. I don't like trash being around. I can see why Steam was saying this is like a cross between like sand rock and no place like home. Which are like two of my most popular series, so you guys should like this, right? Definitely. <laughs> now I can get that Raz Beryl that's in here. But we're not going to go that way for now. We're going to go straight back to the hearth ship like the good little aliens. Hey, guess what? Guess what? We get to go down a pole. Whee! Oh, I can clear that now too. Oh, look! I made it green! All over here. We are getting there. Love mashup. Bahan! How good to see you, Elder. I would have naturally come to wake you up myself, but uh, I cannot leave the hearth ship in the hands of a greenhorn. No worries, your assistant has been very helpful. Good. Then leave it to them to set up your tent. A tent? Wasn't Razor supposed to build homes for us? Protocol dictates to set up basic facilities before waking more crew members. Food first, then shelter. Still better than sleeping in the pod. I'll place the tent in a nice spot for you. I appreciate that. Well, as long as I have space for all my flavour capsules. Tell Bahan when you're done. There's uh, more to do next. Okay. <laughs> Loving this so far. It's so fun. It's so cool. Uh, man, I, like, this House of Put and Paleo Pines have all been, like, such gorgeous games to play. I feel so lucky to <laughs> be able to do this as my job. Play games like this. All right, okay. It sits in the hearth, heart ship, neatly packed in a box. Is it a heart ship or a hearth ship? Okay. There is your tent. Let's place it somewhere nice. There you go. Morale has just gone up for the crew. Wonderful. Your tent awaits you. Alright, let's see it. By the way, the Elder wants us to install the exo processor. Could you carry it from the ship while I unpack my flavour capsules? Sure. Thanks. Let's do that. Let's go in the hearth ship. And get the processor and put it down. Oh, it said put it down there somewhere. Yeah, nice going. I have my fair share of carrying these things, but my back still hurts. And I wouldn't want to drop it. It's probably the only one you've got. That's a limited series processor, you know? Then they should have made it lighter. Huh, I hear you on that. Now, all that's left is to find something to put inside. How can we know what's safe to eat? Metal scrap. Keiki, you are probably the only one that can eat metal scrap. No, Alters can't eat that, Keiki. What? Maybe the Alter... Sorry, the Elder remembers something. The Great Wilt happened before the time I became a flavour chemist, so I don't know much about organic ingredients. But I'll look around to see if I can find anything. Keep an eye out too. I talk to the Elder, that's optional, but why not? Elder, do you think we can use plants in the processor? Naturally. You may be too young to remember this, but they used to be added to food. But that was a long time ago. How did you use those ingredients? I'm no flame chemist, but I assume the same way we use synthetic ones. Just dump them all in the processor and sprinkle the flavour you want on top. I once met an alter who used to select every ingredient individually. What an eccentric Yasma, I think their name was. But that was a long time ago. Okay. Why did we stop using them? Simply ran out. Most plants on Ultra 2 disappeared during the Great Wilt. Of course, but I never really understood what happened. Why did they die? Only the plentiful knows. I've heard similar wilts happen before, yet none so severe. But that was a long time ago. You probably polluted it. Same way cleaning up around here. Thank you, Elder. All this talking made me even hungrier. Oh, I'm sorry. What's this? Harvested herb seeds. Okay. 
a cult. Seeds, wow, I've never seen one before. Let's take a closer look at it. How curious, it's protected by a hard shell. It must be really important to the plants. How can anything grow from such a small thing? Hey there, any luck? Come here, look. I found some seeds. Excellent, I couldn't find anything, but these will do just fine. Now, let's get cooking. Place your harvest in the food processor. Mm. Okay, I think that's it. We've got new food. Jelly is ready. Well, look at that. We might make a flavor chemist out of you. Cakey tastes. Sorry, bud. Um, this is ultra food. No, you can have a little jelly as a treat. Cakey is happy. Certainly not. Boo. The robot might be redundant now that we landed, but I will not have it on function because jelly stuck in its gears. Now let us eat. I'm starving. Nom nom nom. Nom. Nom nom. Ugh, this jelly is disgusting. There's no seasoning. And what happened to the flavour? I didn't want to say anything, but... The processor's flavour infuser must be damaged. No need to overreact. Just fix it. I can't. This line was recalled from the market because of an accident involving a hamster. Exo Co. couldn't give us any spare parts. Oh, in the name of the plentiful coffee. <coughs> and we have no choice but to eat the jelly as it is. Elder, with respect, I've had to make some very questionable flavours in my career, but this is unbearable. On oh, my pride as a flavour chemist, we must do better. Then what are we going to eat? I don't know. I need some time to clear my head. Bahan looks stressed. What a mess. Elder? Oh, <clears throat> what now? Uh, you alright? Naturally, why would I not be? This crash landing situation took a toll on all of us, but we must remain calm and follow protocol. Bahan's dedication to their job is admirable, but knowing them, they will sulk over that jelly for a long while. Can we even eat it if we can't pick the flavour? What else can we do? Eat raw plants? Bah! Perhaps it's time to wake up Razor. Hopefully our reliable builder can repair the processor, or at least talk some sense into Bahan. I updated the data cloud, so now your scanner should pick up the signal of nearby pods. Of course, Elder. I'll go look for Razor right away. Check your compass. It's pointing southwest. Okay. Probably through this new little area that we kind of opened up with our shovel. And down here, maybe? Okay, let's clear this. Hopefully the scrap metal will come in useful um, and I'm not just being completely crazy because, the, the, you know, the, he keeps telling me, why are you picking that stuff up? You're so crazy. Why would you do that? Why would anybody do that? That's just so silly. And I'm like, no, bed's going to come in useful later. Look, do you think it's sturdy enough to walk on? Hey, I revitalized more of it. Oh, look, the tree's grown. Nice. Root bridge! Wait for me! More herb seeds. Okay. Raise the pod! That's right, but it's launched on to the other side of the cliff. I don't think we can reach it from here. Let's find another bridge. Can we cross here? Yes, we can. Um... Okay, can't really get up there, can we? Hmm. Let me walk up the flag. Nope. Ham. Let's explore around a little bit.
You know, I've been wondering. I don't really know how plants work, but there's a way to grow them, right? Ask seed? Um, I don't think they can talk. Can they? Let's put it inside the ground instead. You shovel, seed planter. I can dig. I can plant. Let's see what happens. Well, it certainly revitalized some stuff, which is brilliant. Oh, when I planted the herb, the other plants grew too. Is that a tree and a fern? Herb fern tree grows together. Yes, maybe the plants are like us. Having neighbors makes them happy. I bet the other plants have some seeds too. We can harvest some and keep growing different plants next to each other. To fully grow, a plant needs two neighbours of two different types. Nice. So, her fern spores, herb seeds, and tree seeds. Oh, that's great. That one's missing one, look. Kiki protect. So what have we got here? So, um, let me use my scanner. So it's a herb. Oh, we need to pick that up. So we've got a herb and we need to surround it with a tree and... A fern and a tree. Fern. Oh, it shows me as well. Fern. And a tree. And then it'll all grow nicely. The cliffs are less steep north of the coastline. But that was so cool. And look, the roots are going here too. Ah! Sorry, I'm getting a little off track here, but uh, I don't really care because it's cool. Yeah, I think this is like um, no place like home. Cross with grow song on the other tree. That's that's what I think this is. Oh look, it's growing stuff. When it's growing ways for me to walk around as well. That's amazing. I may have to go get uh, harvest more seeds though in a minute. like I can harvest from the rest oh I see that's all right okay we need to make another trio here mm. Oh no, darn it, I did it wrong. Hang on, I need to remove that tree. And I need to put in... Is that a herb or a fern down there? I can't tell. I need to put a fern in. Although, to be honest, it seems to be doing alright. Let's put a fern in there. Oh, 
Well, that seemed to work. Oh, look. Every time we plant things, it's making a new way for us to go. I love this so much. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so that is a fern. That is a tree. So if I put a herb in here. What am I doing? Dig. Plant. So. Herb. So if I then put. So that is. Uh, let's put the scanner up again. So herb. Herb. That would need to be fern then, definitely. This is a bit like rock, paper, scissors. I may need to go back. So fern, herb, probably a tree there then. Any tree seeds? I may need to go back and uh, do some more. Hey, I've got another another route we can go across. If I go down there, I could go down there and clear that out, but that might still that might cause me problems. Oh, okay, let me harvest a load of seeds from this big old patch here. Oh, oh no, oops. Harvest, herb seeds, take all. My seed bag is full. What? Okay, let's run along here then. I can always go back if I need to grab any particular seed. Hey, look, we made it. Wakey, wakey. Huh? How did they get out of this pod? Unless... No! Did we forget Razor on Ultra 2? Cakey guard pods, builder on ship. Ah, Razor left a note. Read. Uh, well, I'm the elder's assistant, so... Heading to Trifurcation, 13 degrees, 7 degrees, 10. We'll go to Hearth ship from there, Razor. We we're supposed to go the, to the ship if we get separated. I never thought Razor would break the rules. No Pathfinder. Lost? I doubt it. They're heading somewhere else. <sighs> Typical racer, leaving no details. Let's bring the note to Eldo Umrel. On the way back, I'm going to get rid of those. I like things to be green instead of grey. It is so satisfying. We did lots of terraforming on the way. But now I need to find the way back. Did I have a map? Mm. No. Okay, that's my quest, isn't it? Like M M for quest log. Go away, quest log. Oh, F back. Okay. Uh. Need to get home. Was it this one? Oh, I think it might have been this one actually. Ah, oh, it's looking lovely now around here. The fields actually look like fields now. Oh, it's this way, I think. Hi. Hello! Elder, I found Razor's pod empty. By the plentiful. But they left a note. Why did you not start with that? Mm, nearly gave me a heart attack. Give it here. Mm hmm, it's addressed to me, but I can see it has been opened. Not by any nosy assistant, I hope. Hmm, let us see. 
heading to Razor ventured out to some unknown coordinates. Why would they do that? I have an inkling, but no matter the reason, this is unacceptable. I thought Razor knew to follow protocol and come to the hearth ship. I will try to locate where they're headed. Until then, stand by, assistant. Ugh, I'm so tired. I'm not surprised. You've been running around all day. Why don't you take a break? Come, let's light the campfire. Thanks for walking with me. Start a campfire. Marshmallows not included. Uh, did we get one up here? No. Where, where's the campfire? Oh, there's a campfire. Light. Yeah, I like that. Oh, I don't have my automatic lighter with me. There's barely any flame. Analyzing. Low oxygen level. Maybe the Elder knows how to do this. They were probably around when fire was discovered. Hee <laughs> hee. Elder, help. Bahan and I plan to hang out around the campfire, but I don't know how to start it up. Try finding something you have in common. That's always a good first step. Huh? Oh, I meant the fire isn't lighting up. Ah. I can, of course, show you how to do it. Just give me some time to find my tooth... Tooth toot. Your what? Meet around the campfire at night. Optional. Pass the time quicker by the firewood. Well, it is nearly night time. Day campfire? You're right. We should light it when it's dark outside. Let's wait until nightfall. It was very close to nightfall. Now, let me show you how to start a proper fire. You just need to blow more oxygen into it. Good thing I brought my to tooth toot with me. <sighs> That's awesome. Exceptional. Ow, my ears. Is the tooth toot necessary, Alda? Not at all, but it's certainly entertaining. I used to be in a tooth toot band back in the day, you know. Uh, how did you learn to play? My grandparents always had an appreciation for Alterian folk songs. I picked off the tooth toot from them. This one is actually a family heirloom. That's cool. Uh, do you still play? Uh, not much these days. Why not? Personal reasons. I see. What songs did you play? What did we not play? Take me back to Ultra One. I want to be an elder. <laughs> Ultra Love. Oh, that's my favourite. We mostly played covers exclusively with Tooth Toots. Goodness. Fascinating. I'm gonna yawn now. It's getting late. Yes, let us retire for the night. Sleep well. Hickey not tired. Oh, you want to explore some more? Why don't we go back to check on the plants we saw when searching for the ship? Good, good. Big route too? Sure, we can check on the route as well. Maybe figure out a way to cross that ravine. Okay. I'll go check on the plants and check on Big Root. Am I going the right way even slightly? I don't think I am. Because <laughs> I could probably harvest a few more seeds from there. That's probably what it wants me to do. Now they've all grown up nicely. Here we go. That's better. Um, now they've all grown up nicely. I bet we can do a lot of harvesting from them. It did say my seed bag was full though, didn't it? I can still go and check on them. Kiki, protect! Tree seeds, useful. Fern seeds, useful. Herb seeds, still got. I'm still full on herb seeds, I think. I think that's what it is. I can take the ferns. I'm gonna take the trees. can't see my herb bag. Yeah, I 
figure that is probably going to be needed uh, so that I can plant things. Probably that's enough, I expect. But it's probably going to be needed so I can get the big root to grow. That would be my expectation. So let's go back to the big root and just see what we can do with that. Just over here. These are pretty, they light up at night. Night is so beautiful. I did wonder like why they weren't lighting up. It's because it wasn't night time yet. Look, Keiki, the root is growing across the ravine. Plant healer did good. So, how do I get onto it though? That is question. Oh, there we are. I done it, I done it, I done it. Woo! Strange wall or is that a door? It looks ancient. But how? I had no idea this planet was ever inhabited. Let's get in there. The door's open. Whoa, it's so bright. Huh? Was that a voice? Again? You? You friends. Hey, kid, don't walk straight in. You don't know who's in there. What are you doing? I've got to go get you now. <laughs> and that was the end of the demo. Oh, so beautiful. I loved it so much. So thank you ever so much, guys, for watching. Oh, is there anything else going to happen? No, back to the start. So thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We'll come back to this. Uh, I'll be following this uh, development. Um, and we'll come back to that if we have some time to, to do that. And if you guys are interested. So hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more demos and things, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are all out. Hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.